Ooh. Ooh. Latifi. Logan Sargent. Now. Who was better between the two? <laughs> yeah, that's a very, very good question. Who was better between the two? Because we went, when they keep it a buck, they were both shit. And it's just that simple. They were both bad. Uh, uh, you know, you could say Latifi was slow. Latifi was slow as hell. We know that. We've seen that Latifi was slow. He ran like he ran like my freaking grandma, who's like 90 plus years old. Just slow. Then you have Logan Sargent, the American, the great American hope. I was excited for him because you guys know me. I'm a American. And to see a American... And Formula One, I'm very, very happy about that because honestly, how many Americans I've been F1 recently? I think what Scott Speed tried, I think the, the last good one was what Andretti, but even then, like it's been a smooth, smooth minute since we have seen a American in F1 go crazy, which is why I was very happy to see Logan Sargent come in for Williams, take Latifi spot, but that didn't work. So obviously, as you guys know, for the Italian GP, which Sergeant got replaced, Franco Gobinto, who was a Alpine Academy driver, actually took his spot and actually finished in 12th. So Williams actually this weekend wasn't really that bad. Alex, Al Alex Albon finished 9th and Franco finished 12th. And, and you know, you could say he was already doing better than Logan Sargent, which is not really a big, big surprise. But it's kind of frustrating to see logan Sargent perform not good but before the video starts guys hope you guys did do enjoy the video and guys very very enjoy i'm very happy to get this out for you guys make sure you guys like the video sub as well make sure you guys stay around for more content in the near future williams for a while has had a tough tough in the 90s very very good team led by papa williams yes Papa Williams, we call him Papa Williams. Had a great, great team, a great time, and a lot of wins were coming. And honestly, the last few years have not really been the case. Obviously, Alex Albon's probably been like the best driver they've had, they've had in the last few years. Obviously, I think Valtteri Joe for them, George Russell's Joe for them, but Albon, who's staying at Williams after a tough time with Red Bull, has been pretty okay with Williams. I think he just resigned up them. He just resigned with them as well, but. Regarding Sergeant and Nicholas and Nicholas Latifi, Gotifi, aka the GOAT, my GOAT, Gotifi, he's been out of F1 since 2022, which brings up the question between him and Logan Sargent, who was the worst? Now, it is something that is a pretty good question you can really ask a lot of F1 fans. Now, you guys know me. I'm still not official, official yet. Hey, still not official, official yet, but we are actually pretty good at knowing the facts and getting there but let, let but let's just start off with just both these drivers both drivers start, struggled mightily in Formula one with latifi actually lasting longer yeah i just said that no diddy with the team but let's keep it honest both drivers were not good and williams has to play a part in that like they have not been competitive recently and it shows on the constructors board right now they are currently have four points actually you could probably make that what five or six or seven whatever since albon just got p9 at the italian gp and which makes them second to last or probably third to last whatever it's still not great they in 2023 they finished seven for 28 points and 2022 they finished dead last so it's been a struggle for them which is why the drivers have came in haven't really helped them along with that if we wanted to see, to see a, big, a bigger picture, this team, like I said, was a good team in the 90s. Now, obviously, some big changes have, have happened to this team, but it still sucks to see where they are compared to they were in the 90s. Now, if you want to also compare the points between these two drivers, let's just do it. But T-Fins last season in F1, his highest finish was ninth, which is not bad, which came out of Japan. I think that was the race in which it was like a red flag. It was raining very, very hard. And we had some weird finishes. And Latifi came in ninth. Outside of that, it was pretty crappy. It was pretty shitty. A lot of consistent 16, 17, and 18 finishes. And a lot of DNFs. Now, Latifi was slow. He wasn't a good driver. Maybe the car didn't help out as well. But Latifi himself was not good. And it's okay. We can accept that. But we can also criticize Latifi for that. Now, Latifi's actually doing, actually doing pretty good for himself. Things like back in school, stuff like that. So shout out to Nicholas Latifi. But we still have to, you know, talk about his F1 career. I know, I know, I know that's something he may not want to talk about, but he still wasn't 
great. Now, if you compare with Tifu's finishes to Logan Sargent's, so Logan Sargent this season before he got let go, his highest was finish was at Silverstone, which he finished P11. Outside of that, he had a few DMPs. And some finishes, he coming in 15th, 16th, and 17th. So again, similar to Latifi, it wasn't finishing well. Sarge's first season it wasn't greater, wasn't great anyway, with seven DNFs and tons of low finishes. Ah, uh, it just sucks for Sargent because I really, really wanted him to do well. I wanted him to perform well. I feel like he had the capability of doing that. But we just didn't see it with him. And it's very, very unfortunate for him. I did have a poll. Is he going, going to be like an F1? And a lot of you guys said no. <laughs> He's not going to be like an F1. And similar to Nick DeVries, we probably just won't see it. But if you wanted to compare it to Alex Albon, both these two drivers, you have to look at the facts. Alex Albon had 109 points. Latifi has to like, add some more points to that. But it still wasn't great. Nicholas Latifi struggled mightily being Alex Albon's teammate. And it showed. Both had zero wins. But the best GP finish was Alex Albon with three. And just a lot of times, man, they just, Alex Albon just crapped the bed with Latifi. He absolutely just told him, get up. You're not good enough for me. I'm a big dog over here. And it shows why. You look at it, it shows why. But if you wanted to compare Nicholas Latifi and Alex, I'm sorry, Logan Sargent, it's actually really, 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 really interesting. So Nicholas Latifi finished with nine points in his F1 career, and Sargent only has one. <laughs> it's not funny. It's kind of like a dickhead type of thing. But it's the facts. GP positions head to head. Nick Latifi did have a seven place spot, like I mentioned. And Sargent best finish was 10th. And plus, if you look at it as well, them guys were just consistent, just back end finishes. Like, that's just what they were. They're cons consistently in the back. They weren't good. They weren't great. But does Williams have a, a part to play in that? Eh. The car, like I said, wasn't great with either of, of the two. The cars were not great. And that's something that is very, very unfortunate with the two. But they both didn't really help themselves in regards to the drives that they were making during the races. And you got to look at the crashes as well. Obviously, Nicholas Latifi is very well known for that crash he had at Abu Dhabi in 2021. And which led to that 1v1 between Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen, which led to Max Verstappen in his first win in Formula 1. While Logan Sargent is just known for just crashing out a lot and... uh finishing last a lot it's just not not great but just sucks but anyway Latifi finished longer in Formula 1 but he still had his flaws which we know which could make a point he was better than Sargent now you guys gotta let me know who, who was better between Logan Sargent and, or Nicholas Latifi but it's a very very tough one most people have said women's car is better under Sargent than Latifi but the results have been crap either way. Alex Albon has been well with Williams following his tough break with Red Bull. Maybe just a talent problem, we could say. But I just don't think both men were just that good. <laughs> and that's okay. And that's okay to say. And that is okay to admit. But sometimes we do have to be honest in terms of our evaluation with these drivers. You have to look at other drivers who have came through Formula, who came through Formula Three, Formula Two, and seen the success they have had, the Charlotte Claires, the Lewis Hamilton, the Max Verstappen, and it's kind of a big, big challenge you could say, or like comparison to compare those to the Latifis and the Logan Sargents. But they most of them have all came through kind of a similar way. They were all great in their like youth days and their go kart days, and we've seen that and we know about that. But just because that happens and that doesn't mean it's going to lead to a good career in Formula 1, which we have seen. This as Nick DeVries. Easy example. But if I really had to choose a driver that I felt was better, I have to go with Latif. And that is very, very tough to say. But you have to just look at the fact and you have to look at the numbers that have been presented with the two. Latifi was dog crap. And we've said that and we have said that and we have said that. Logan Sargent was dog crap. We have said that, we have said that, and we have said that. But both of these drivers had their chance in Formula 1, and they just didn't get it done. Now something that we could possibly look at, we could possibly decide is, 
what's next for these drivers. Now, obviously, Latifi's gone. Sargent lost a spot. I don't know. Sargent can't really go back to Formula 2 or Formula 3, I think. What is he going to do now? He's just going to take the rest of the season to get his mind right. I would love for Logan Sargent to get another chance with, with a Formula 1 team. But with a lot of these F1 spots getting taken for next season, it's going to be hard to see which team decides to give Logan Sargent a chance. I would love to see Logan Sargent be with like a, a Haas, some of them. I think Haas basically already done. Kick, Sauber, whatever, is basically already confirmed. So like a lot of these spots are already getting taken up. And we're seeing some big moves next season, but we won't see Logan Sargent be a part of that. But Latifah as, Latifa as well also had a third season compared to Sargent's second season. And we have seen it again with these paid drivers, the Lance Strolls and recently we could say nicholas latifi now it's very very frustrating to see f1 drivers lose a spot because you never ever want to see that but if you want to keep it a buck if you want to be honest with ourselves latifi was better than logan Sargent. and it's like i said it's a strong strong case to make but latifi was better than logan Sargent. hopefully we get a chance to see logan Sargent come back i don't think we do though just gotta be honest but what can Logan Sargent change? Or what can he do to make himself another chance to be back in Formula 1? You guys let me know in the comments down below. As always, I do appreciate you guys for enjoying the video as well. Don't forget to like the video. Sub as well. You guys stay safe. See you guys soon. Peace.